and welcome back to Ask a Pennsylvania Dutchman. My name is Chris LaRose. This here is Doug Maidenford, our resident Pennsylvania Dutchman. How are you, Doug? Ready to go, buddy. Ready to rock and roll. All yeah, the yeah. Rest. Well, our next question comes in today from Maggie Good of Monton, Pennsylvania. Okay. And she says... No, it's Moton. Moton. Whoa. <laughs> I don't read much. For people who aren't from Berks County, there's a little town not too far from Reading called Moton. M-O-H-N-T-O-N. What'd you say? Mont? Mountain. Boy. Moton. Hey, sorry, Maggie. And all you Mon Mon Montonians. Montonians, yeah. yeah. I'm a fly-through Dutchman. I don't yeah, yeah, yeah. Go I'm ahead. A, I'm what, a part time. What's, what's, what's the question? <laughs> all right. So, um, well, Maggie says, hi, PA Dutchman. My question is, what do you think about styrofoam, dishwashers, and scrapbooking? Don't you think they should be outlawed? <laughs> outlawed? That's a pretty strong statement. And the answer is yes, they should be. But we have to defend our answer, though, don't we? Let's I talk know. about styrofoam. I don't even know what that stuff is. And you know... It's the work of the devil. Actually. It might be. We come from a culture though, that is a non-throwaway culture. The good Pennsylvania Dutch people, we want to reuse... You know, we were the original green hipsters out there, right? Think about we, the most un-Dutch thing in the world, and that's what styrofoam is. Throwing something, using it once and throwing it away. Yeah. And you know, you can't even burn the stuff because it releases toxic fumes or something like that. So what do you gotta do? It ends up in a, in a landfill. Can you That's imagine the good. person who invented that? Like, oh, let's try to invent something that if you throw it away, it takes thousands of years to biodegrade, and if you burn it, it destroys the atmosphere, and if you just leave it laying around, then birds are gonna eat it and die. That's the devil. You were right. Yeah. So styrofoam, check that off the list. Definitely should make that illegal. Next, we've got dishwashers. <laughs> the machine, I've, I think she means the machines. Oh, I was always a dishwasher in my house. Yeah, I, well, I, I was. I wasn't the dishwasher growing up. I was up. hoping I was, they weren't going to make me illegal. I was the dish dryer. The dish dryer. Yeah. yeah, I always had to dry the dishes. Mom washed them, and I had. A, I and my brother, we had to dry them. But if we're talking about the the dishwasher, if we're talking machines, about the machines, of course they should be no, on. No, no real Dutchman uses a dishwasher. How are you supposed to appreciate your meal that you just ate if you just throw the plate right in some machine, close the door, and walk away? I mean, it gives you time to reflect. I mean, well, sure, you get that plate if you're the washer and you got the schmear of ketchup on there and some pork chop grease or whatever. That reminds you, oh man, that was good work. You know, yeah. and, and you have to scrub it off. It, it, it all speaks to this, we don't want to do anything culture that we live in anymore. Well, if you think about it, washing dishes by hand is kind of a safety measure because it ensures that you have at least 20 minutes after dinner. So, like, what if you want oh, to do Oh, for the food to settle. Yeah, maybe. so it's like, it, it says, point. like, oh, you can't go swimming now. You got to wash these dishes. And so it's saving you from a lot of we're pretty well, future pains. Yeah. yeah. That's a good point. It's a safety thing. I think it all just comes down to work. They should ethic. put a warning on the dishwashing machines. Warning, not held responsible if you go swimming after dinner. <laughs> <laughs> you say some of the stupidest <laughs> stuff I've ever heard. In my well, life. it all so makes that. sense. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. I think any good parent that's got young kids, if they haven't been forced to wash and dry dishes, then that's a childhood misspent. Mm-hmm. Darn stupid. You gotta work in this world. You can't expect machines to do everything for you. I'm tired of them. Well, Check that off the list. Make that illegal too. All right, the next thing, last thing we have is scrapbooking. Now, I don't know if this is something you do in your free time, but I certainly do. Do I look like someone that scrapbooks? Now, I want to make sure we're kind of on the same page with what scrapbooking is. From our, what I understand, it's that you go and you like cut pictures out of magazines of things you want or want to do. Or and you buy all that expensive frilly paper and, and then you glue them all together. Fancy you know? scissors that do like these like, wavy cuts yeah. and stuff and then you buy a big scrapbook and you, yeah, you paste them all in there. So yeah, you have yeah, a, yeah, a, yeah. a fancy book of all the things you want to do in your life. You know what's better is uh, doing that. Like actually going and doing those things and so maybe taking a picture of you doing those things and then putting in a book. We used to call those photo albums. You know what they really are? Life experience. Yeah. <laughs> you you strike you got a good point there. People are sitting in there a little some people have actual scrapbooking like clubs. Rooms. Well, and clubs, workshops. rooms in their houses to do this stuff. And they got these Tupperware bins full of border paper and scissors and ribbons and all this stuff, stamps and oh do no matter. All the money they're wasting on that when they could be out doing it. There they are, doing a scrapbook page about I don't know. Uh, <laughs> 
uh, quilting. I don't know. That was a pretty bad experience. But they could be learning how to quilt instead of doing that. And I think about it, if you're going to cut a picture out of a quilting magazine to put into a scrapbook, you're losing all the good stuff, like the article underneath the picture that it originally came with that tells you how to do the quilt. That's true. I would probably cut that part out. That's there, pretty there, useful. There, it sounds like a giant waste of time and money. Yeah, I think so, but you know, people out there can't explain them some days. They'll sit and waste, they'll throw all their dirty dishes in the dishwasher and go eat walk off away. Eat off a styrofoam Eat off a styrofoam. No, then you, don't, you can't put styrofoam in the dishwasher. They'll put the dirty dishes in the dishwasher, make it Further do that work. Further proof it's work and, of the deadly. Can't and then, put them in the dishwasher. And then go upstairs, go upstairs to their scrapbooking room and waste two hours of the night doing that. Wasting styrofoam, wasting... Your youth not doing dishes and wasting time. This should all be illegal for your own health. This Maggie Good, son of a gun. She got some good points. She's right. She's right. Yeah. They should all be outlawed. Mm-hmm. Thanks, Maggie. We're with you. 100%. Absolutely. Till we talk to you again, avoid styrofoam in your life, wash your own dishes, and instead of scrapbooking about something, go out and do it. Yeah, now we're talking. Mock Scoot. Mock Scoot. If you have a question, why well, you have to email us at busterpa at yahoo.com.